where do you see AI fitting into sort of where we are now and where we could be going forward? It started off as pure fiction. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I would love to take credit for the fact like, oh, if we just released this in 2023, it'll be the robo apocalypse. And yeah, I can't take credit for it, but it started off as like a, a metaphor for for like people who are different, you know, and the other. And, but the second you start dabbling with AI, it's like become such a fascinating subject um, that all these kind of uh, questions just quickly come at you about like, is it real? And, and I thought this was something that was gonna be like in 2070, um, and that's what the film set. And, and then as we were filming, there was, uh, people were texting me news articles saying some guy had left Google and um, thinks the AI they have there has become sentient. And then I read the conversation that they'd had in, on, in the van on the way to set, like, because I was supposed to prep and write my shots and everything. I just ended up getting going down this rabbit hole, reading this whole conversation, just coming out the end going, holy shit. like, this might be happening. Like, in terms of filmmaking already, there's tools out there that initially, all those initial thoughts you have, which is, well, AI will never be able to do this, it won't be able to understand the beauty of an image and that. And then you go on these websites like Midjourney and type stuff in and it's pretty f***ing good. Yeah. And you go, oh, f***ed. you know, and st soon that stuff will be able to move. It'll be moving footage. And then like maybe you won't need cameras, you know, who knows how it's all going to play out. Um, it's going to change filmmaking so much, I think, like way beyond Jurassic Park and dinosaurs. Um, it's going to be a big seismic shift but it's impossible to predict. My hope is that it sort of uh, democratizes filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't cost $200 million anymore to go make a, something that's in your head. You can kind of do it from your bedroom. But then the question is if when everyone can make Star Wars from their bedroom, like will it have any specialness anymore? Like will it be special?